in this video, we will look at how to use or logic with the sum ifs function. I have a table on this sheet named TBL cells, and we can see that I want to sum the totals for the regions of north and south. I have a sum ifs function in cell H3 at the moment, and as many sum ifs function users know, this function applies and logic between each of its criteria. So this is producing the answer of zero, which is clearly wrong. Now, one approach could be to use two sum ifs functions and add them together. And this is a viable approach. However, it is a shame that we have to duplicate the reference to the total column, and it will start to get awkward if we have more than two conditions. So let's look at how we can use a list of values for sum ifs or logic. So in addition to the TBL cells table, I also have the list of regions formatted as a table, and that is TBL regions. So in cell H3, if I begin the sum ifs function, and I'll reference the total column of TBL cells as the sum range, put in my comma, the criteria range is the column of regions from TBL cells, another comma, and then I'm going to reference all of the values in a table called TBL regions. So that list of regions is actually formatted as a table as well. It doesn't need to be for this to work, but in a moment, we're going to add regions and the dynamism of the table makes it a better option than using a range. Now, if I close bracket and run this, this is not initially going to give us the answer. It actually provides a spill range of both results the result for the north and the result for the south. So it's not exactly what we want, but to get what we want, all we need to do is wrap a sum function around that. So I just simply add a simple sum function around my sum ifs, and now we have our combined total of north and the south. Now, because it references TBL regions, if we were to go and add a new region at the bottom of the table, I can press my tab key on the last cell there to create a new cell or a new row, one could say in this case, and I could add a new region such as West and then press enter to confirm that. And our formula now automatically includes the West, all part of the brilliance of using tables for your data source. A nice shortcut to know when using tables as well is that I could go back to the West and do control minus as a simple way of deleting a row. So control minus is deleting a table row. And it will allow us here to add and remove region names very simply. I have another video on this channel where I used a sum function to sum values on its own with complex criteria. And it certainly offers some advantages over some ifs in the terms that we're not limited by the size of the ranges being equal and that we can put dynamic array functions directly into the function. However, in an example like this, that would be a bit more awkward to put together. Whereas I feel that this formula with some ifs and then some just summing the returned values is simple.